Fatal Fury 2 was without a doubt a success for SNK. It took everything that worked in the first game and made it better, and was a true rival to Street Fighter 2. But by the time it released, Capcom started something unseen in video games before, a gameplay update to their already released games. After Street Fighter 2 was released, Capcom immediately began working on an updated version dubbed Street Fighter 2 Dash or Champion Edition. This version offered playable bosses, increased speeds and minor gameplay changes. Not to be outdone by its biggest competitor, SNK announced, only few months after the release of Fatal Fury 2, an updated version of the game, titled Fatal Fury Special. But unlike Capcom, SNK will not only make the bosses playable, but will also add more characters, a guest fighter, new stages and gameplay changes. The biggest change that Fatal Fury Special brought was adding more playable characters. First, all the bosses from Fatal Fury 2 are now playable, which includes Billy Khan, Axel Hawk, Lawrence Blood, and the mighty Wolfgang Krauser. But that was not enough for SNK as they brought back three characters from the first game, now redrawn and reimagined in the style of Fatal Fury 2. These characters are Terry's master Tang Furu and the breakdancing fighter Duck King. The third character was none other than Fatal Fury's ultimate boss, Giz Howard. In terms of gameplay, Fatal Fury Special is faster than its predecessor when it comes to characters' movements. The biggest change, however, comes into the form of a combo system where you could link moves and cancel some into others. The number of line move attacks have also been increased. Pressing the light punch or light kick button while the opponent is on an opposite lane will perform a low line jump attack. Game balance was also adjusted, which gave the game a competitive side that is still alive to this day. The single player mode has the player fighting all of the playable characters, beginning with the 8 regular characters from the Fatal Fury 2 game, as well as Tang Furu and Duck King, with the player given a choice for the first opponent. After the first 10 enemies, the player will fight against Billy, Axel, Lawrence, Geese, and Krauser in that specific order. If the player wins every match in two rounds only, then he will be challenged by Ryo Sakazaki in a special dream match. The inclusion of Ryo Sakazaki from the Art of Fighting series was so well received that it was the basis for SNK to work on a team-up franchise featuring characters from its library and hence the idea of the King of Fighters franchise was born. Similar to the previous games, SNK released some very amusing live-action TV spots to coincide with the release of Fatal Fury Special. オオカミは眠らない。ガロー伝説スペシャル。
いくつもの伝説が生まれそして消えてゆく。狼は眠らない。ガロー伝説スペシャル。SNK。The fun did not stop there as SNK decided to include a number of very fun Easter eggs in the game, like a flying Kim Cup one, dancing ducks, and more. f e t a l Fury Special was released in the arcades on September 16, 1993, followed shortly by a Neo Geo AES version before hitting multiple home consoles. Upon its release, f e t a l Fury Special received rave reviews and was met with great reception. It would take the game only a few weeks to be crowned as the most successful arcade machine in Japan, as per Game Machine magazine. The game would stay in top 5 charts of best arcade game for a very long time, and it would also rank as Japan's third highest grossing arcade game for the following year. In North America, Replay Magazine reported that Fatal Fury Special was the seventh most popular arcade game of 1993. Magazines and publications worldwide praised the game's fluid animation and gameplay. As well as the big variety of characters, special moves, music, and overall fun. The game had playable ports for the Super Nintendo, Sega CD, and Game Gear. As well as the PC Engine, the X68000, and FM Town's computer platforms in Japan. All that between 1994 and 1996. The Game Gear version was quite the highlight of the home ports releases as it offered unparalleled fighting game experience on a handheld. Developed by Takara, this version offered nine playable characters, including the game's secret guest character Ryo Sakazaki. While many of the Fatal Fury Special's memorable roster was missing, like Kim and Krauser, the detailed graphics, music, and beautiful stages made Fatal Fury Special on the Game Gear as the most faithful adaptation of the old Fatal Fury games on handheld. f e t a l Fury Special will also receive a direct manga adaptation by Mondo K. The single volume manga is a direct sequel to the author's f e t a l Fury 2 manga and deals with Giza's return as well as the implication it brings to South Town, Terry, and to Wolfgang Krauser. After the release of f e t a l Fury Special, SNK announced that they are working on a new anime project for the series, but this time, unlike the first two direct to TV movies, Fatal Fury will be heading to the big screen with Fatal Fury the Motion Picture. Released in 1994, the third and last anime adaptation of Fatal Fury by Masami Obari was an original story not based on any of the games. The story of the movie revolves around the favorite heroes of Terry, Andy, Joe, and Mai. Trying to help the original character of Sulia stop her brother and his henchmen from collecting the powerful armor of the fallen god Mars. Most of the cast of Fatal Fury Special made cameos during this movie. Originally, Masami Obari and his team had a completely different storyline for the anime. The planned story was to have the Fatal Fury heroes team up with Ryo Sakazaki to defeat Mr. Big. Planned characters from Auto Fighting included Eiji Kisaragi and King, but plans were scrapped in favor of an original story and characters. f e t a l Fury the Motion Picture was considered a modest success in cinemas and has recently been re released in high definition on Blu ray. Fatal Fury 2 and then Special made sure to cement the spot of the Fatal Fury franchise as an important pillar of the fighting game genre. 
SNK knew by then that Terry and his friends could be as memorable as Ryu and Ken when it comes to fighting game character icons. More than a year has passed since the 1993 release of Fatal Fury Special, and while the game was still very successful in the arcades, fans of the series were wondering about the next chapter of the franchise. And while 1994 saw no new Fatal Fury game, fans of these iconic characters were able to play some of them in a brand new game that would soon revolutionize the fighting game scene, The King of Fighters 94. a team-based fighting game that would take SNK to new heights of popularity. SNK, knowing the importance of the Fatal Fury franchise, decided to dedicate a full team from the 8 teams roster to Fatal Fury. Team Italy consisted of Terry, Andy and Joe. But that's a story for another video. Fatal Fury Special has recently celebrated its 30th anniversary. The game is currently available on many modern platforms. Following the success of Fatal Fury Special, SNK saw the potential of making another chapter to this now successful series. But for the next game, SNK would decide to redraw the sprites from scratch and change in the gameplay system. Next time, we'll delve into the history of Fatal Fury 3. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and consider becoming a patron. Special thanks and shout out to all the channel's patrons.